crowbar is a good tool. Oh, that's gonna. Do you have an angle, a powered angle grinder? It's in the toolkit. I'll just drive over there. So this is part of rally two. Waking up pretty sore the next day, and uh, getting the car back. I think that we're good. Nice. And um, to be able to do that, we are gonna have to fix something in place. So we're just moving some tools around and um, we'll see, see how it goes. Uh, so we, we air down the tires. I usually do that when we go in the highlands on the rough roads, save the suspension, but uh, uh, Lexi made a good point. This road has like a lot of, lot of sharp rocks. And um, even though it might be more comfortable, there is more risk. If the tires are too soft, it's going to cut the tire. And we've already seen a little bit of marking on the on the tires at, just after the, this small pass that we've gone through. So I just uh, told them that I was really worried about that. You have the plugs, tire plugs, fill in a hole. I thought so. I'm not 100% sure. Fuck. Did you bring some? Do you have some in the... Yeah, we have them in, in the buggy. Car. So we got to make it to the buggy. we got to make it there. <laughs> this is the part that... Uh, Stripped from another car yesterday for us last night. Mm -hmm. That's basically everything that we hope that is wrong with the car. <laughs> I think it's really cool that it the machine that started this. Yeah, exactly. That's true. It's one of the that connected out. us. <laughs> yeah, I remember the first time we met. Yeah. I mentioned that I was building this car. Yeah, and yeah. Like, okay, this guy is a bit weird, <laughs> but that's interesting. Yeah, well. You're not weird to a lot of my friends okay. compared to it, but uh, <laughs> but what I like about it is that you follow up with the ideas and uh, eventually I'll do them. Yeah, I love that always. Yeah, but um, and then we deal with the consequences afterwards, right? Yeah, what we're doing today. That's how it goes. All right, let's go get it. Let's go get it. Oh yeah. Yep. Still a bit wonky. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't heal by itself. No, it's still a bit crooked here. Yeah? How bad is it? Look at these metal shavings that it has. That's from the brake, right? The brake disc. Well, what do you think? I don't know. <sighs> but there's a shit lot of them here. Might be from the wheel. It looks like aluminium. Yeah, it's probably inside of the wheel. Okay, the brakes are gone. <laughs> there was a bearing here. I mean, look, looks kind of shiny new. That's not what it's supposed to look like, by the way. <laughs> Just FYI. Yeah, the, the hole is a bit wider now. <laughs> yeah, that is true. And we've been running it for a while. Yeah. I think around here on the corner, that's yeah, that when I thought uh, we just have a tire that's busted. Yeah. We're gonna jump out, we're gonna see this like flying everywhere. Yeah, that's why I said like maybe it's good to stop. I was running through all kinds of scenarios through that basically. But I was basically just lying to myself. <laughs> <laughs> just finding every excuse, yeah. Just You're hoping to, for the best. Yeah, it'll just stop making a noise and it'll just drive straight. And I was like, fuck no. <laughs> And then it you, never does. And then you it never does. She was stop. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I'm on the metal here. 
Ja. It is so close. Well, we need to get one part in the other one. It's a bit tight, so. Yep. What, you got it in? Yep. Oh, shit. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. There it is. Looks like sometimes it needs a little top. You see that the attachment here is broken and it's bent. DeWalt Power Tools, battery yeah. powered. Gets shit done in the desert. <laughs> here we can strap it and we should be well clearance of the tire. And remember kids, always take the tools back in its place. What My son is just constantly nagging me about it. Oh, Dad, you, you gotta put it in the same place. I'm like, yeah. That's more ADHD than OCD. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have a real hard time learning in school. I just thought I was a dumbass all through school. Like C's and whatever, and just failing at every class. Is, I gotta be an idiot or a stupid person. Yeah. But after school, I mean, when I started doing this kind of stuff, racing and uh, getting a team together and, you know, finding people and connecting, yeah, that helped me a lot. Yeah. But it, it was a tough time though, because it's tough thinking that you're just stupid. Because I did the test, the IQ test and everything. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, um, you're average in almost everything. But then 159 in, in, in one level, which is basically how my mind, the speed is working off my mind. So basically connecting things and solving mm -hmm. problems. Yeah. I mean, I wanted to race at top level on snowmobiles, did that. Because mm -hmm. I found a way to do it. Yeah. So usually if, if there are a problem comes up, I'm really fast in finding the solution to it. Well, then I connect it backwards. Everything that I've done so far doesn't make me stupid. It makes me real smart in doing a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. And that gave me power. My ADSD is like I have 300 balloons tied to my belt. Different kind of colors. Yeah. And I'm just taking one, working on it, Releasing it because, oh, I got to do that next thing also. And so I'm taking that next thing. I'm working on that. Oh, I also got to do that thing. So yeah. I'm not really finishing anything. Mm, yeah. So it keeps me that I have all these balloons ahead of me. So everything's kind of clouded over that. Yeah. So on the medicine, I could take the balloon, the purple one, cut it. It's done. And then I could take the yellow one, cut it. It's done. I'm working on learning the method through the medicine. Yeah. So the medicine helps me find the path because the future isn't with living with medicine. No, it's, All your it's, life fi is it's just finding out how you work. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then making that, you know, work better for you. Yeah. Well, but we almost got like a balloon to cut off. Yeah. There we go. Let's finish this balloon by putting on a tire. Let's make sure this thing doesn't roll away. Good as new, yeah? Let's see if it still rides. Don't drive it like you stole it. Drive it like you just fixed it. <laughs> How's it feel? It's working. It's not braking, but... <laughs> no I brakes at all? I don't need brakes. I got gear brake. We were trying to move it yesterday. We could Out of the line, it just And I saw it struggling. And I saw that the axle either would snap or the gearbox. We'll just be behind you. And if something happens, we'll uh, honk or flash or whatever. If you won't see me after I a mean, while. you're gonna like, no, you are gonna I'm, take off. I did, like I said, I'm just gonna drive it. I'm gonna feel how it feels and just go as fast as I wanna. You cannot get the racer out of this guy. <laughs> And if all goes well, meet you at the trailer. Fucking good job, man. See you guys.